So this week, uh, we are going to review testing and debugging uh, C Sharp. And I think a lot of you are already familiar with the information. So this is going to be a little lighter week. Um, we do have a unit test, but uh, I'm trying to make that as non-stressful as possible. Uh, because the unit test is open book, open note, and you can take it an unlimited number of times. Uh, I am pulling the questions from a test bank. So they're going to be randomly pulled in. You may not get the exact same questions every time, uh, but you can look up the answers. And as I mentioned, open book, open note. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is going through chapter five. And uh, there's a couple things I'm going to have you do in the hands-on, and you will be submitting those to the Dropbox. But as I mentioned, I do think a lot of this is going to be a uh, review because we're going to basically cover how to add breakpoints, um, how to use variable and expression monitoring, how to use traits points, uh, how to use the exception helper, uh, things that I believe you are already familiar with. And if you aren't, uh, then this might be something exciting and new. So uh, you will kind of walk through this. I do have video demos uh, kind of sprinkled in here throughout. Uh, that you can watch if you're not sure of what to do. And then there is hands-on exercises that you are going to need to complete. Uh, and then once you are done, all the way to the bottom here, uh, it does tell you what you need to turn in. And then you will turn in links to the GitHub repositories for the two projects that you fix the errors in. And that's pretty much the assignment. Uh, after you finish that, and as I mentioned, I think it's going to be quite short. Uh, there is a discussion that you need to participate in. And the purpose of this is for you to share what you are going to do for your term project with uh, your peers. And also to think about uh, some design aspects of the project. And so I do have uh, quite a few articles for you guys to review. Uh, and then I have specific questions that I want you to answer in your post. Okay, so you need to answer questions one through four. And then I want you to read your classmates' posts and reply to three. And so here I've got a couple examples of what students in previous semesters posted, just so you guys can get some ideas. Uh, and you'll want to get your post completed uh, by the sixth. And then you'll have that next week to kind of read through and post your reply to three of them. Once you are done with that, then you can start on the midterm. Okay, and as I mentioned, uh, open book, open note, randomly pulling from question banks, and you can take this an unlimited number of times, it will save your highest score. Uh, and if you do run into any questions or problems this week, please let me know. Uh, under course resources, I did include the textbook author um, PowerPoint on chapter five and uh, a little ebook I found, Web Design for Developers. And just the way Canvas does this, unfortunately, it kind of opens it in... Uh, its own little frame here, which is kind of weird. So if you guys want a, a link to this, let me know, uh, because I certainly can provide that too. 
Right. So uh, that is what you will be working on this week. And if you run into any problems, have any questions, let me know. Hope you guys all have an awesome week.